trying to catch me off guard by calling me in without any notice, and I'm sure he wants to go over the night about Claudia's death. Right. And you do not have to say anything until Diane gets here. I know. I know. I'm just bummed because I'm sure we're going to be spending Valentine's Day evening here, and it's not exactly romantic. I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. It's my fault that you even have to deal with it. No, no, no. It's okay. I mean, you are just protecting Michael, and I happen to love that about you. I just... I really hope there's something that I can do to help. That's all. Miss Morgan. You have to wait outside. Your timing is getting to be just as bad as Sunny's. What could possibly be so important that it warns you interrupting my Valentine's Day massage from Max? If Max called Sammy for questioning, I need you to get it released right now. Do you know what Max has given me for Valentine's Day? Diane, if you could just... Lingerie! French! The finest money can buy. And of course, Max knows me so well, my taste, my proportions. Well, the bustier alone feels like it was made for me. Can you just... Why don't I just give you a little sampling of what Max is missing? You're my lawyer. Right now, I am not a lawyer. I am a woman who has been cruelly torn from her lover's side just as he was preparing a lavender honey massage. Stop. I'm sorry. I know it's Valentine's Day. I will, I'll pay you double, triple, if you get Sam released right now. No don't worry. You'll pay. I guess it was only a matter of time. I am not in the mood tonight, Commissioner. So I'm going to give you one opportunity to make this go away now. I have every right to question Sam. I'm in the middle of a murder investigation. And I was in the middle of a Valentine's Day celebration with my sexy, flexy soulmate. But business is business, and I'm here now. So if you cannot show me just cause why you need to detain my client, <clears throat> then I'm going to make you pay. I've never seen Diane quite this fierce. Ah, uh, yeah, she and Max were right in the middle of... Just doing whatever they were doing for Valentine's Day. I really don't want to think about it. Wow, Diane and Max. I don't think I would have ever expected those two to be together. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but... We don't try to change each other. I think it's the same way for us. And we've always accepted me for who I am and what I do, and... Trust me, I know it's not always easy. Oh, come on, it's not all that bad. I like what you do. I mean, we both like living on the edge and taking risks, and I really, really like living that way. Even if it means spending some long nights in the PCPD. I think that we made it home just in time to celebrate Valentine's Day the right way. I think that sounds... Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. This was obviously not your idea. Christina and Molly. Obviously, I gave them too much money to decorate. I think it's beautiful. I think. It's pink. Yeah, it's pink. Well, Molly does know how much you like the color pink. Um, remember the, the tie at yeah. Spinelli's wedding? Yeah, I would remember, but remember that tie didn't last very long. Yeah, well, this is gonna last the least for tonight. It's just you and I think this is great. And it's really nice of you. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Tell you something. It's a love.